Alright, I'm glad you guys are back. Um, this is lesson 3.4. We're still doing fractions, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> and now we're going to be dividing, okay, your rational expressions. Um, I love good news though, okay. Honestly, this is the same as what we learned in lesson 2.4, except for one thing. When you're dividing fractions, we're going to change it to multiplying by the reciprocal. So the only thing you got to do is one extra step. So what I'm trying to say in English, I'm going to rewrite the first fraction, change it to multiplication, and then you're going to flip the second fraction before you know we uh, do the problem. So now uh, it will be 8 cubed to the fifth over 35 p squared q squared. All right. And then now we're just going to do what we learned in the last lesson. All right, we're multiplying fractions. So I'm going to draw a big old fraction bar over here. All right, uh, coefficient times coefficient, 5 times 8, 40. All right, um, p, no other factor of p over here, so I'm just going to write it down. All right, q to the first times q to the fifth. You're going to keep the q, add the exponents, 1 plus 5 is 6. Okay. 16 times 35, uh, we're going to use our trusty old calculator, <laughs> because you know that's how I roll. All right, so 16 times 35, uh, 560. Um, P to the third, P to the second will be P to the fifth, and then there's no Q's here, and then Q to the second, I'm going to write it over here. All right, then we're going to reduce it, okay, just like we did in the previous lesson. So I'll draw a big old fraction bar over here. Love that 560, but don't worry about it. All right, first thing that popped in my head was, look, see those zeros? I can drop those zeros. I'm dividing by 10, and then I can divide by 4, divide by 4, and I'm going to get 1 over um, 14. So then I put 1 over 14. Okay, so coefficients, you're just going to reduce like normal. I divided by 10, that dropped those zeros. Then I divided by 4. Okay, all right, um, then let's go to the letters. The letters are so much easier, the variables. This is p to the first versus p to the fifth. I'm going to subtract 5, take away 1. It's p to the fourth but there were more factors of p in the bottom. So I put p to the fourth in the bottom. q to the sixth over q to the second, subtract, and then I'm gonna get q to the fourth power, and um, I'll keep the factors of q in the top like that, because there's more factors of q in the, in the numerator. Um, the one, you can leave it or you can erase it, um, but this is what we're looking for. How do you know you're done? You can't reduce 1 14th. Uh, Q and P are not the same base, so you just leave it alone. All right, how are you doing on example one? All right, because these aren't the fun ones. I want to find you guys a fun one. So example two, let's take a look. Now, a lot of times the hardest part in this chapter really is just writing these problems down and writing them down correctly. All right, so example two, 10 over 4x minus 8 divided by, over here we got 2x squared plus 6x, and the bottom is x squared plus x minus 6, and this is a division problem. I'm jumping ahead here. Look at that. Look how I just changed the problem in multiplication. All right, because we're doing division, right? All right, again, nothing really different except for the initial step. We're going to leave the first fraction alone. Do nothing nada to the first fraction. I know you want to, but leave it alone change this to times and we're going to do the reciprocal or flip it flip it good on the other one so x squared plus x minus 6 is now in the numerator and 2x squared plus 6x is in the denominator now it was division we changed it multiply by reciprocal now we get to party that party is factoring okay here we go 10 leave it alone okay it's one term 4x minus 8 here, let me set this all up for us. Leave the 10 alone. Look, there's a greatest common factor. Okay, 4 and 8. The GCF is 4. 
I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, put the GCF out here. When I divide by 4, I'm left with x minus 2. Okay? Over here, no GCF, so because it's a trinomial, let's try our favorite type of factoring. x squared is an x times x. 6 is 2 times 3, 1 times 6, but I'm looking for a 1 here in the middle. So I'm going to go with 3 and 2. Signs are different. I want a positive, so the higher factor gets the positive. All right, and then I'm going to rewrite this over here. All right, we got one more, I swear. All right, the denominator here. Look, I smell a GCF, do you? 2 and 6, I'll put GCF over here, is 2, okay? Um, x squared versus x, the most they have in common is a single x. So this is the GCF of this bottom here. You're going to divide by the GCF, put the GCF out here, all right? Look, 2's cancel, um, and then 1x cancels, so you're left with x, and this is plus 3. Now the party finally begins. I can't say it enough. You cannot cancel um, factors unless you have them separated by multiplication, all right? So see all this multiplication here? And then the only way you can cancel is if the factors are exactly the same, but one is in the numerator, one's in the denominator. So where does this party begin? Look, x minus 2 and x minus 2. One was below, one was above. And they don't have to be directly on top of each other. x plus 3 is in the numerator, x plus 3 is in the denominator, all right? Um, 2 and 10, 2 can go into 2 once, can go into 10 five times. The only thing left in the top is a 5, okay? The only thing left in the bottom is this 4 and this x. And this is what we're looking for, all right? Okay, stay with me. Please stay with me, all right? Good to see y'all. Um, we'll talk to you soon.